This cold weather is for the birds. What'd you say? Are you serious? Yeah, Waking up Saturday morning in a chilly 46 degree Orange Beach, Alabama is where we begin this video. We plan to bundle up and visit the Wharf Boat and Yacht Show, but first, breakfast. After renewing my membership in the Clean Plate Club and cleaning the kitchen, I was ready to get my day started. Well, good morning. So we have reached Sun Outdoors in Orange Beach, Alabama. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous video, we were headed to another boat show this weekend so um we are headed to the wharf i can tell you we came across the bridge paid our toll and as we cross the bridge it looks like the stage is set for the wharf we saw boats on both sides and uh some of them look pretty pretty awesome so we'll get you in some of those here shortly but yeah we got in last night <laughs> very very late and um got set up and just pretty much conked out so um, we'll take a look at the park hopefully sometime today and uh, give you a, a look at Sun Outdoors. But from what we could see when we drove in last night and some YouTube videos we've watched, it looks like it's a really, really new park and a lot of the amenities they have are, you know, pretty, pretty solid. So I'm gonna turn so you can see the sign behind me, but they do have a nature trail uh that i've already seen people walk in and just really huge park wasn't expecting it to be as big as it is but it's laid out pretty interesting uh we had a time finding our spot last night so really i didn't film much last night we were really really tired and uh said we probably won't be doing any uh weekend warrioring the way that we have the past couple of trips it's just it's a lot but yeah, we're gonna head out here shortly once everybody gets situated and we'll get you into the boat show. Before we head out, let's give you a quick look around the campsite. The sites were well appointed and very spacious in this part of the campground. So as you can see, this site comes concrete pad, chair fire pit fire ring area on the business side we got water power and of course sewer it looks like they have it equipped for two sewer hookups if you know you have a really really long rig and multiple places to uh, dump your gray and black with everyone fed and loaded up in the truck we made our way to the boat show a very short ride from the campground Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Get a little car for you. Probably not what you like. I know I love Audis. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, it is now. Yeah, it is. An electric Audi. Oh, that's. Let's see what you look like. <laughs> oh, that's nice. So this is your EV, huh? Oh, that is GT. Lovely. Open the door. It's okay. I got the key. I can get him out oh, eventually. Okay. We'll let him have a little fun for a minute, though, right? Come on. You guys local? No. On this scale, but uh, we're definitely gonna take a look at them. Do you wanna look there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll look it up online and see if I can find one similar to it but if there's no price on it y'all know what that means they don't want you to know or they want to talk to you about it like it like it like it well, maybe it's it ain't not a new one, but it's it don't look as big oh yeah 
It's in the water. So? Remember, uh, we were sitting up on the trail. Okay. The last time. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. All of it. This is the best in show from the Panama City mm. by our standards <laughs> and what was there at the show. <laughs> Similar to the one we looked at a couple weeks ago. But, uh,. Got a different little feel to it, looks like. I mean, it's the same one. I don't remember all of this being open like this. Because it was off. They, they had this closed. Oh, okay. Oh, I just hate this. No windows down here. This is, uh, like I said before, this is 100% kid abandonment. Uh, yeah. 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 Of course, I wouldn't be dressed like this if we on a boat. I'm going to have a swimsuit on, you know, because this cold weather is for the birds. What'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> All right. Just keep walking and maybe we'll find one that looks like maybe what we're interested in. What is this one? This is cute. It's very cute. I think we've looked at some of these on YouTube. Yes, I remember the paint job. Yes. Naughty business. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm sorry. This is making a stupid decision type. Uh, uh. Boys can sleep out under the stars. Isn't that nice? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? Okay, here you go. Here you go. What'd he say? <laughs> he didn't say nothing. I'm oh. just giving a look. <laughs> this is definitely one we've been looking at online. And, um, it's enclosed. It, I don't know what all the options are on it. It, got, it, has, it had a bow thrust on it, which is a, a nice feature for both this size. It's really nice. I can walk around it without risking my life. Electric Audi for that would cost more than this. No space. The up, yes, I bet you that car is over a hundred thousand, and then the upgrade cost of insurance would cost more than insurance on this boat. I probably need to ask that dude. Insurance would cost. Um, the insurance for a sixteen year old place. would probably be two thousand dollars a month. Sitting so. there discussing. Okay. The cost of an if electric Audi that we saw 16, first coming in. I find to the cost of this boat. Oh, this is this I guess winds down the table and it 
it could be like a little yeah the knob there unscrews and the table will lower but it moves out of your way during the yeah the, the tear Deal breaker yeah, for me. Here, oh no. A deal breaker. There's another one over there. Yeah, this this one's a little more dangerous to walk around. If I, huh? I mean, I ain't saying that I won't, but I'm just saying. At sea, you shouldn't be having to risk your life for something. Right here. Oh, look at him up there dreaming. Oh, uh, this is almost a reality so here. Right looking at the price. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see it up there. So that way, yeah, uh, get you some light down here. That's what I. I don't like being too dark in here. So, it's a little tight in here, but I mean, for the sake of it being an actual little head, it's got, you know, the sink here, and I'm, of course, sitting on the throne, and you can do your business in here, and you can get it done, keep it moving. this one and I think one of the things we're always looking for or Jonathan has said we need to be looking for is one that's trailerable so meaning of course we can tow it wherever we want to go and potentially put in from anywhere so as you can see this does sit on the double axle trailer and it is one that we have looked at wasn't expecting to see the price in the you know below 200,000 range that's very impressive um, for this one the other one had a little more like cabin space and it looked a little more luxurious than this one but I think just you know walking around and being able to navigate on the boat is something I'm interested in I don't want to have to be holding on to you know a rail just trying to walk around the boat so I'm liking this one. The other one has more space, so we shall see. I think the other one was actually cheaper too. I think it was like 140 and this one was like 170. So it's definitely cool to see them at the, at the show. We weren't sure if we were gonna get to see any boats of this style. Uh, so we're really excited. So what do y'all think of this one? Between that one and this one, I like this one a lot. Okay. I live in it. Huh? I live in it. You live in it? Okay. All right. Me too, son. I'd have to get a license to drive one of these, but uh, I think I look pretty good over here. So, despite the difference in controls, the geek like to drive a small boat. And this is the same license. Yes. The same driver's license you drive for a Camry. There you go. I mean, you need you you get the same license to drive, a, you know, pull an RV that Daddy has to drive his truck. There's no additional license needed. It's a boater's license. The point of the license is really understanding the rules of the water. So you take the test to know, you know, how to obey the signs you see when okay, you're so out not and like. The boat. They, don't, they don't teach you they, that. They teach you. They don't make sure you don't. <laughs> He getting way out of my wheelhouse. He need to have these conversations with his daddy. 
I'm gonna be more over there where you about you are looking out at the horizon or up front. That's that's where I see myself. But I will get a figure out if this is a purchase. I will get a license in the event I have to drive. But I mean, yeah, I think actually both of y'all could probably get a voter's license now. Voter's license are, you know, I think for kids. The Bimini work. Huh? I said the Bimini work. Oh. Of okay. How, how old you gotta be to get a voter's license? Can't they get one next? I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, baby, Alabama ain't got no real laws when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah. Close yourself in to see if you gonna. Is there, is there a time limit? Oh. How much time you can spend in there? Well, what's the verdict? Huh? It's tight. Like, it's definitely less than the RV bathroom. Oh, well, for, of course. Did it close you off there? See, that's what I like. The fact that you can completely, like, weatherize it, you know, with the sliding glass doors and you know you're not exposed to the elements the way you would be on that one and this is more of like a overnight I mean you can overnight in the other one but you can overnight and still have like outdoor living space and you know drive the boat without having to deal with the wind or the rain if you don't want to on one of these so they all three of them have their perks it's just really you know the lifestyle that you're wanting to live on them in fear of getting called squatters on these show vessels we made our way to the exit oh yeah yeah i, I can <laughs> you can do it it's like this it's like we could do it today like this i'm, 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 on, I'm being hyped right now <laughs> <laughs> you say what yeah, i said it's like we could do that today yeah like and that's what you know, like that's what that's what's so exciting about it. I the agree. Best, best, I agree. Best day. But, uh, but hey, you you maybe we gotta physically touch them first. Oh, so yeah. we, we definitely need to test drive them first. So yes, we'll I agree. come back. Uh, got water rally next week. Gonna be in the area, so we can go by. Uh, he's in Pensacola. Then. Uh, oh, is that where he is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we can uh, go get one out and. Uh, and, and see what it feel like. Okay. You know. Fantastic time. Saw the boats I really wanted to see. Or some of the boats I really wanted to see. Yep. Lined up a test drive. So we're gonna do that. Test cruise. Mm -hmm. And uh I'm feeling good about it. Yeah, feeling I enjoyed very good. it. It was it was more more than I expected at this show. 
Um, I, I know there was some really huge yachts. I expected that, but I wasn't sure we were going to see anything like what what yeah. we like. So. And to see two boats that we've been looking at and watching videos about uh, was was really beneficial. Yep. Uh, There's like one fish in there, <laughs> and the guy caught it. It wasn't wasn't me, unfortunately. So, uh, but Sun Outdoors has been nice. We, you know, hadn't really seen much of the park because we spent a good bit at the boat show and then I just came to the, to the lake. That's about it. But what we rode through and saw, it looks pretty nice and well laid out. The spaces are not too close and on top of each other. So, and it's like two minutes from the boat show. So it's like a perfect location if you ever desire to come to the wharf uh, boat and yacht show it's nice weather you could walk yes if it was we would have walked if it was nice weather but it's it's, it's yeah. chill, too chilly out here for that the wind it bite through your layers and get to you yeah it is extremely extremely close to the boat show yeah so yeah i mean even if you're not going to the boat show and you just want to go down to the wharf and shop it's a lot of shopping centers and things down there too so that's in walking distance of think a theater the amc is there if you are interested in you know catching a movie or whatever but it's it's an awesome location to the wharf but yeah gonna head on back to the camper and settle in and hopefully i can warm up but uh this has been great enjoyed it and i think i'm probably gonna end the video here so if you have enjoyed the video as much as i've enjoyed making it I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. Enjoying a nice evening. Excellent boat show. Enjoyed it. Enjoying a nice little campfire out here. Resort style. Yeah, yeah, resort style. <laughs> I ain't, I ain't, I ain't hacking out no logs or nothing like that, you know. <laughs> but uh, nevertheless, it was a good one. Yeah, it is. And uh, it is feeling pretty good. You feeling pretty good about it, baby? I am. Still a little chilly, but feeling good. All right. Could be the wine, though. <laughs> <laughs> and she's got gloves on and a parka and everything else. And a parka. <laughs> my true Florida girl over there. <laughs> Indeed. I'm chilling. What's up, baby? Like this is nice theory, but it's cold <laughs> out here, so I guess. I need, I need some wood burning. <laughs> yeah. The wood we burning. We can't rake nothing on. This is it. It's hot. This is it. <laughs> it's, it's nice, and I do feel some heat, but it ain't wood. It ain't, it ain't, no, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't wood, baby. It ain't wood burning loud. Hey, shit is down there, because it's all propane. This ain't this peak place. I didn't put my tank on this. <laughs> I paid for this it's, propane. It, it is very pretty. I'm good. <laughs> Whew, drank the rest of my wine on the inside. Comforts of my own home.